Hey guys, it's TNN, and today we are going to have a look at a smartwatch. Now, this is the EverShot smartwatch. Now, it's a Bluetooth smartwatch, and I don't actually know what the model name is, but all I know is it's called the EverShot smartwatch, and it has a 2.5D screen, an Arc HD screen, and also supports a SIM card. So that's pretty cool as well, and it works on iOS and Android. Now, here is the, of course, actual box. We got a smartwatch written on the top over here and we've got a picture of the smartwatch now another thing interesting as soon as I open this you guys are going to be amazed by what it looks like this smartwatch looks very very similar to another smartwatch and I actually like the idea that it did it because it looks really sleek and stunning so we've got some specifications over here we have a 1.54 inch IPS wide fit arc touchscreen so arc means of course the screen is a little bit rounded so it feels more comfortable to use and it's also an IPS screen as well, so the angles will be very, very stunning. We've got 240 by 240 resolution. We have a HD camera as well, so it's also got a camera inside, which is amazing. We have a polymer battery of 320 mAh. Now, 320 mAh is a pretty good battery, and it should last you about two or three days, maybe. But we will check that out. And it supports Android 4.3 and iOS 7.0 above. So, built-in built in smartwatch, USB cable, user manual, walk to car, protective film. Bluetooth version 4.0, so one of the latest Bluetooth versions. And of course, function, Bluetooth, phone call reminder, anti-loss, sleep tracker, sedentary reminder, calculator, recording video player, music player, remote camera, alarm, documents management, calendar, and of course, stopwatch. So it's very similar, of course, to many other smartwatches we have seen on my channel. So we've got a little sticker going across here, which shows it's black. You can always go ahead and let's peel that off. And now we can go ahead and let's open up this box. So over here, let me go ahead and zoom out. So you can see the full screen and we have a what seems to be instruction manual, I assume, which underneath here. Let's go and take that out. And we actually have a screen protector, a very, very small screen protector, of course, because the screen is only 1.54 inches. We then have a little pocket bag, of course, over here. Let's try and pull it out. And we have the instruction manual. Now it is in Chinese and at the back it is in English. So it's in Chinese and English. So if you're new to Bluetooth smartwatches, then you're probably going to need the instruction manual. And you're also going to want to need it on how to download the iOS app as well. So we have Android install app. So you go ahead and download the app called Thunderware Android version. And on iOS, what you've got to do is go on the App Store. App Store and search for the Fundoware app as well and then download it. Simple as that. And then of course once you download the app, go on your phones, go on your phone and go on your settings, turn on the Bluetooth and connect the watch. And then go on the Fundo app and then connect the watch for Bluetooth on the Fundo app. And that's how you can connect your watch. And it simply turns into a full-on sort of it turns into a full-on fitness watch basically. So I'm gonna go ahead, pack this up like so and let's have a look at the actual watch so we've got the screen protector pop that to one side and here we have the actual watch now I have to say it looks stunning so it really comes pre-installed with a screen protector we'll have a look at that in a bit but let's take this out of here and let's have a look at this actual watch over here and it looks stunning Wow, it really does look good. So, we can peel off the front over here and everything. So we're gonna go and put this off to the side. We'll have a look at this later, but we still gotta open up the box. So what else we got? We all gotta have the charger as well, of course. So let's open this up. And here we have the charging cable. Now it is a magnetic charger. So you can see from the pins over here. It's a magnetic charger and the cable is actually quite long. It's about a meter long, so it's the normal length of a charging cable. And it's designed like an Apple cable, I have to say. It looks very nice with the white and thick cable. So it's a very high quality cable and it looks just like Apple cables as well. So that looks amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and pack all this up and we'll have a closer look at the watch. So let's go ahead and have a closer look at the watch and hopefully start to set it up as well. So here is the charger. I'm just going to go through how to use the charging cable. So let's unplug this over here take it out here so we also got a seal sticker over here just showing the numbers of course let's just go ahead and stick that on the box for now 
and we have the actual main device over here so we got on and off as well so we can open the back it suggests so I'm assuming on you open the back so we got a sim card slot at the back over here now it is a micro sim card slot so it takes one micro sim card which is absolutely amazing so you can do calls straight from this watch you don't have to actually connect it through a bluetooth as well so you can either connect it to bluetooth and connect it to your phone sim card or you can put your own sim card in here and use it as your own separate phone now on the left side of the actual device we have of course the charging port now the charger is magnetic so for safety just in case you pull against it it will just pull out and it won't pull the whole the whole actual watch and it simply just sits on like that so it actually connects quite well and it sits in place quite well as well so it's a really, really nice magnetic charger and that's simply how you charge it now you can plug this into a USB wall adapter or a USB plug or you can plug it straight into your laptop or computer and charge it that way but let's have a look at the actual watch now so we've got really nice soft rubber, I have to say, very, very soft and smooth. We've got the screen protector on top, let me go ahead and peel that off. Like so. Get the bubbles out. So it comes pre-installed with a screen protector already. Of course you can see the camera on top over here. Now I'm not sure how many megapixels this is, but I will confirm it in the review if I find out. But on the right side of the device we have a what seems to be a scroller so just like the apple watch now this looks very similar to the apple watch that's what makes it look stunning and amazing and then of course we have this button over here which i assume is the power button so let's go ahead and turn it on hopefully this is the power button maybe it's got no juice maybe it doesn't need charging or maybe this over here is the power button so let's try turning this one on And no, so I think it needs a good charge. So I'm gonna go ahead, charge it. I'm gonna show a video on how to set it up as well. And we'll be back with a review video. So stay tuned for that. Even when I'm away, OT, OT, there's never much love we go on see. I pray, make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. That's why I need a one day. Got a hand to see in my hand. One more time for I go. I was taking a hold on me I need a one day Got a NSC in my head One more time for I go is taking a hold 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 on me Right, so let's get on with this review and I have to say this watch is actually really really nice now first off when I looked at it when we opened the box I thought that it looked absolutely amazing so over here you can see we've got a camera over here now I tried out this camera I would say it's probably about a VGA resolution camera so not the best resolution but you're not going to use this watch for the main feature of the camera now build quality is very nice with this metal casing all around the magnetic charger can be quite annoying sometimes so you see it does simply snap on but when you tug on it a little bit it does sometimes fall off which can be quite annoying and another thing is if you want to charge the device you can have to keep the actual smartwatch powered off and then charge it because you can't use the watch when it's charging and that can be a downside sometimes but it's, if you think about it it's actually really good for the battery because the battery doesn't get damaged because if you use an electronic device when it's charging you're damaging the battery so this is best and then of course the buttons are also really really quiet nice soft and smooth again also metal casing so let's go ahead and let's turn this smartwatch on. So I have charged it. And we can see it's a smartwatch now. And we got the power on tune. And again, smartwatch logo spinning around. So here we have the clock faces. So we have five clock faces. This is one of them. And to change clock faces, you simply spin this button over here. So it's turn. And we have the next clock face, turn again, and we have the other one, once more, we have this one over here, we have this clock face over here, and we're back on this one. So those are the clock faces. Now to be honest, I prefer this clock face over here, because it looks very similar to the Apple Watch one. 
Now to get off of this you can always swipe it across like that and then this button over here will also select or scroll up and down. This bottom one on the bottom over here will go back and also lock the screen as well. Unlock the screen and go back forward. Now there's different menus over here so this is one of the menus that you get which is a simple four screen menu and then of course you just scroll across or you can use the button to scroll over here. So I'm going to go through what we have first and then I'll change the menu and you can see that. So what have we got over here? We've got the themes over here. So we've got theme one which is just a black background. Theme two is sort of like the bluey bubbles background. Go on themes again. Theme three and we just have a plain blue background. To be honest I prefer the black background. We've also got remote notifiers. So now let's connect the watch to my phone. So I've got an Android smartphone. So all you got to do is go ahead and go on the Android app store. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me put the brightness up so you guys can see. Go ahead and search Fundu. Just search that. And this one over here, Fundu Wear, with the guy running is the app that you want to download. So go ahead and click install so it's a blue app with a circle and a man running so that's the app you want to download go ahead and let's do that then go ahead and go back on your watch and make sure that the Bluetooth is powered on so another tip if you're not going to use the Bluetooth feature keep the Bluetooth off because it will save the battery now the battery does last actually a few days about a couple of days the battery does last quite long but if you don't if you keep the Bluetooth feature on the battery will die pretty quick so my advice is if you're not going to use the Bluetooth feature keep it off so it's powered on right now as you can see Bluetooth power on you can go back go back onto your smartphone and go on to settings on your phone so this is either iPhone or Android go on to Bluetooth yes go ahead and turn it on okay Turn on the Bluetooth, right, okay. And it's searching for devices, hopefully it finds the watch. There it is, DM09, go ahead and connect to that. Pairing request, yes, go ahead and press pair. And hopefully on the watch something should pop up as well, maybe. Yes, we've connected. So, uh, message access, DM09 would like to access your messages. Go ahead and press yes, you will allow that. And then we've got a second DM09 there as well. Let's go ahead and connect to that as well. But that will connect later. So we're connected to all media anyway. So go back. And now what you've got to do is go on the Fundu app. Where it is Fundu where? Let's go ahead and open this app up. Fundu where? Receive notifications such as emails, SMS and calls directly to your watch. Entertainment, music player, calculator, stopwatch, calendar, alarm, all on your watch, and health and fitness. Let's go ahead and press start. And you can register this, or I guess we can skip this. So you can register to the app, make sure all your stuff is saved, or you can skip. And let's go ahead and connect through Bluetooth. So just click on the plus button over here, click on Bluetooth, and would you like to disconnect the smart device? Press OK to disconnect. And then Go ahead and connect to it again through the app. So it's searching, we've got the DM09 over there. Go ahead and tap that. And we should be connected now. So we are now connected to the watch through the app. And clear all the notifications out of the way now. And here we are. So this app allows you to see your fitness on the watch as well. So you can check the heart rate and all that but the watch doesn't have a heart rate sensor so all this will be using for is the pedometer but main feature is obviously to sync your data on here as well so you can use this watch to set goals sort out your applications, you can manage the watch through your smartwatch you can manage the watch through the phone of course like so and there you go now the watch also has a QR scanner, so if you have a QR scanner on your phone, you can go ahead and scan that QR. So let's go ahead and let's do that right now actually. So let me go ahead and download a QR scanner, just go on the App Store, 
search QR scanner go ahead and install any one of these I'm installing this one over here QR code reader go ahead and install that and then if you go onto your watch and there will be a quick response over here go ahead and open it up and that is your QR scanner code that is your barcode that you're going to want to scan with this watch so let's go ahead and do that scan this barcode press OK and it should take you to a website so go to that website and it will take you to the Fundu website where you can download the Fundu iOS version or the Fundu Android version and also the Fundu smart device as well so you can go ahead and click on one of these and it will start downloading so that's another quick way to do it as well so if you don't have an app store or if you don't know how to search on the app store you search and you don't know which one you're finding you can always get this one so there's also another app over here Fundu smart device I'm gonna go ahead and try that out actually oh and it did not install because I already got the Fundu Wear app installed anyway so ignore that bit then so it's the same app but that's the basic connection on how to connect your phone now let's go back onto the smartwatch over here and just talk through some of the features that we have so let's scroll back to the top so we went through theme, we went to remote notify over here which gives you notifications from your phone so if you get a text message it will come up on the remote notify telling you that you got a text message we also have sleep monitor which tells you how well you've slept whether if it was a good sleep, bad sleep, which is pretty good as well and it also tells you how long you slept as well so that's a very nice feature we have a camera of course which is a front facing camera, as you can see it's my camera over here and I'd say it's about a VGA camera, not the best quality but if you're not going to buy the watch for the camera feature anyway because that's not really the main feature we also have Bluetooth music which will actually play music from my Bluetooth from my phone but again that's not the main feature so if you go ahead and play music it should do that so let me go ahead and make sure we are connected to the watch and also the Fundu app tells you the battery capacity is also the smart device battery capacity right now is 70% which is actually really good because if you don't know what the battery capacity is without, watching, without looking at your watch you can check out the battery capacity of your device through your phone which is a really, really nice feature I have to say I like that feature so let me try and connect to this and play some music so I'm going to try and play non copyright music so there you go I'm going to play non copyright music so the video doesn't get copyrighted and we'll see how loud it is so I'll put the volume on max and the volume is coming out of here and we are playing Bourbon Street so volume is on max so it's not the loudest of volumes I have to say but it's okay I mean it's not really made for listening to music anyway the main feature is to use it for calls so we're going to go ahead and exit this now go back so you can check the messages as well inbox, outbox, we have a dialer so let's go ahead and let's ring my network operator and see what the speaker sound quality is like so let's call them on my G4 so that's through Bluetooth and let's see what it's like oops 789 cool through Bluetooth but the Fundu where unfortunately does crash when I do that so maybe I need to reset the watch turn off the watch and turn off the phone to turn it on and then try it again but you can call from Bluetooth but you can call from either Bluetooth or your local SIM that is inside the watch another feature is find my device so if you've lost your phone or your smart watch you can press find my device on either of them and it will start ringing and buzzing we also got about which sends some information about the device and whatnot. we also got flight mode we have motion which is a flip to mute incoming calls flip to mute alarm wake up gesture shaking to switch to main menu shake to answer the call we also have pedometer which is actually really good I have used the pedometer it's a really nice feature 
There is a bit of a delay, a few second delay when you're first using it, it doesn't count the steps. But after that it does actually start counting the steps and measuring it up. And it's actually pretty accurate, I was actually impressed at how accurate it was. And it also tells you how, much, how many meters you've run, how many steps you've got, how many calories you've burnt. And it gives you your goal, height, weight and tells you how well you're doing really. And you can connect it to the Fundu Wear app and also see how you're doing like that as well. Uh, we also got Bluetooth connection of course. See who you're connected to, see who you can connect to. We got phone book, which of course connects to my phone book. We got sedentary reminder, which is a sort of alarm reminder that sends you in a few seconds or minutes, whatever you want to set it to. We have a file manager, of course, for the internal storage. Internal storage free is 503 kilobytes. We got settings, Bluetooth settings on the back, of course, turn it on off. We got clock settings to set your date and time, sound settings to set your ringtones. Volume settings is in the amount of volume. We have display settings, of course the brightness and all, brightness currently on full brightness. We have magic voice, which is basically like a aid assistant sort of voice, so you can have a male, woman or child voice. We've got flight mode, international, which is of course language, apps, reset and about. So we've got clock over here, volume over here, which we just went through got language calculator so it does come with a calculator go ahead and open it up pretty basic calculator we got remote capture which is a capture app that will capture with your Android or iOS so it uses your phone camera and you can press the capture button on the smartwatch and it will capture the picture on your phone camera we also got Siri sorry about that uh, someone's phone's going off in the background you probably hear it but we also got Siri now this is Siri feature is mainly for, I assume, mainly for Apple devices. But let's go ahead and try it out anyway. So, what is the weather today? And I don't think it will work because it is for Apple devices, of course. So, Siri is for Apple devices. We also have a sound recorder which will, you have to disconnect your Bluetooth to your phone to use a sound recorder. We have image viewer, of course, if you're taking pictures. You can view images or you can also put images on the actual watch through the connection of file manager and data transfer some images over. We've got video recorder, of course, uses the same camera to record. We've got video player, stopwatch, pretty basic features. Start your stopwatch, how many laps, stop the stopwatch, reset. We have power saving, call cool logs, alarms, calendar, which is a pretty nice calendar actually. You've got normal date, how the dates today, and you can also check the other dates as well. And we can swipe to go back like that, that's how you swipe to go back. We've got UV mode, which basically, I don't know how accurate this is, but it basically just checks whether the UV light outside is good for you or not. And of course we've got brightness changing over here, plus or minus. Right now it's on max brightness, now the brightness is actually pretty good. I've used it outdoors, it was a cloudy weather and it was really visible as well, so the brightness of this watch is very nice. Now we've got menu style, which I'll go through in just a second, let me just finish off the menus here. We have vibrator here as well. Now I'm not sure what this feature will be used for, but I guess you can check if the vibration on this watch is working, and it's definitely working. Now we've got main menu style, so right now we're on four apps of the main menu style. There's also smart style. Now let's go ahead and change to smart style. And this style is very, very similar to the Apple Watch, which I like. So when you're using this, people could look at it and think, wow, you got the Apple Watch. But obviously it's not the Apple Watch. It's a lot, lot cheaper than the Apple Watch, but it looks amazing and also pretty cool and high tech as well. So you can scroll through all the same menus we just went through like this, and you can use the scroll on the side to zoom in and zoom out. And of course, this button over here will go back of course this button down here will go back, sorry. And then you can lock with this one, unlock with this one, or lock with this one, unlock with this one. So that's the watch overall. And I have to say, it is a really, really nice watch. And battery last was good. And there's nothing really wrong with it, to be honest. It does what it says, it does what it's meant to do. And it looks absolutely stunning. That's the best part about it, is the looks. It looks beautiful, easy to wear, it really grips onto you, it's very comfortable as well. So link to buy will be down below in the description and before we go, I think overall score I give it is 9 out of 10. I think it would have got 10 out of 10 if they improved on the magnetic charging. 
because the magnet is a little bit less powerful so it's not that powerful so when you do plug in the magnet and have a little tug on it and it will fall out and the other feature is you have to keep the watch powered off if you want to charge it but other than that I think it's really good it's easy to connect easy to use looks amazing and battery life is good other than that I've got nothing wrong with it so overall score 9 out of 10 link to buy will be down in the description and don't forget to comment like and subscribe